So this one might be interesting question in fact of course a lot of recordings so far one of the discussion with jeff was should we replace will we replace can we replace bgp with any other protocol you can find the video for this one on the channel you can have a look jeff tanstra by the way i definitely recommend all of the videos with my guest especially with jeff short videos also we have one of those short videos it was this question should we replace can we replace and will we replace bgp with any other protocol for global internet was you will see the answer there but when I also shared this video on LinkedIn, there was a couple comments. And actually, I saw this comment even under the video on YouTube. Someone was saying blockchain. They are discussing blockchain can replace, will replace, etc. People are really talking about that. What do you think, Jeff, blockchain will it replace or can it replace PGP for the global internet? So it cannot replace and it's not meant to replace. So what the blockchain provides, it's distributed system that gives stability, validate the transaction between two parties. But directly could say if one party could send a route to another one, it could be validated, actually trapped back because now everything is ledger. To say, what if we do it for BGP? However, if you look over the last couple of years, and people try to do a lot of things with blockchain, you all know, right? We all remember how much the currency was and <laughs> other things. There's actually significant cost associated with computing it. You need to start looking at scale and amount of energy you need to compute a hash, at some point you just spending 90% of your total budget on paying your electricity bill to compute in the hash. BGP on another side, system doesn't assume large computational cost in terms of how to compute that bit. That's why all the security additions on top of BGP that required significant computation uh, for critical reasons weren't successful. Right. And it, exactly for that reason. And it's done offline with RPKI, for example, and BGP SEC pet validation is not successful exactly because of that. Excellent point. Uh, we might argue that on new CPUs it would have been cheaper. Still, it's not role of routing protect to provide this kind of functionality, I would say. So if we take scale of BGP, amount of changes, the fact that relationship is always between different parties. I would say that BGP secured by RPKI, and finally we see the deployment five days ago, NTT deployed yeah. RPKI on every external connection. So, yes. hey, and they, they now reject the invalids, and yeah, yes. I saw that. Uh, Tele deployed in December, I believe, so go on. You know, at scale, doing RPKI would be much more pragmatic and practical approach than trying to do some crypto system on top of it. It just doesn't make sense from an economical perspective. It doesn't make sense from protocol semantics perspective. So the answer is really no. Blockchain isn't meant for this kind of global system. Even so, again, we envision that at some point uh, we will have distributed overlay that provides ability to do transactions with each other, uh, secure those transactions and all this kind of stuff. But it's not really meant or things like routing updates. I, I was thinking about the information. I was thinking about the policy, in fact, not the reachability exchange or security doing the crypto, etc. on the router itself, so online crypto. I was thinking how they will achieve the policy because everybody will have their own intent. My AS, so I will of course based on my intent, maybe this link is cheap, I will send the traffic over here, but my peers will totally do something else. So that's why we see today, even with PG those what we were saying there is a i think rfc for that one as well bgp wedges right so we we have because different in, intent on different as's for sure and how you will do policy with blockchain i don't know how so the distribution of information is not necessarily directly related to policies you sure. apply it but in general it doesn't make sense from any different reason okay sure okay now i got the point especially that doing crypt but what if they would offload crypto on similar to rpki on let's say a validator machine or separate device which is doing all this functionality it might of course increase latency maybe on the other side the crypto function may be offloaded to different machine if rigidity is solved as well the thing policy still is questioned anyway so there are many things i think there the question is really, it's an invasive change to a global system, right? So who is going to pay for it? Who is going to initiate it? And remember, we've got, what, 60,000 cents on the internet. How do you do this? You build some islands of hmm. blockchain redistribution. Unless there are really, really, really 
severe issue and BGP doesn't work, I don't think anyone is going to really be ready to pay for it. BGP is working. With RPKI, finally, we are getting some additional layer of validations and security. I think 10 years from now, we we'll might discuss something else. I don't see economical or technological reasons to replace BGP with anything else. And I would advise you to read some of uh, Jeff uh, Houston articles about BGP. Jeff Houston is one of the scientists that's been tracking BGP behavior since BGP exists. He usually blogs on uh, APNIC, so he's in Australia, and he writes really fascinating articles about BGP, how BGP survived, all the changes, and how BGP is still working really well. Also, I should maybe add, he's also writing for Plutaro.net, and uh, I would yes. recommend you to read those articles as well. So, BGP is still kicking alive, in other words. Yeah, and um, I think we, we discussed this before. Should we replace, can we replace, will we replace? Now, why blockchain wouldn't be one of those candidates? Because we did before this discussion for Lisp. And in fact, I did this discussion with Jeff, and then... Jeff, myself, and Dino Farinacci, Lisp inventor, we also talked about exactly this point. And I remember G uh, Dino's response on that. And he said, definitely, it was not meant to replace BGP. Uh, we didn't but invent the Lisp. It's necessary for Lisp to distribute locators. So they complement each other. They don't replace each other. Yeah. And uh, what we said, exactly, Jeff just... Uh, Told about that. Lisp requires underlay functionality and on the global internet BGP provides that underlay functionality and Lisp and BGP is helping to each other.